I love the sandbag squat because it's not a barbell and it's more like life, right? Sometimes you're gonna have to put shit on your back and carry it like a buddy or your kid or whatever or a piece of furniture, right? And it's not gonna be this perfectly symmetrical barbell with weight on it. Don't get me wrong, the barbell is great, right? It's a great way to build strength, but sometimes you have to build that, you know, real world strength. We'll go 30, 30, 25, 25, 20, 20. The weight was 125, which, yeah. sorry. 150 it is. In between each round, let's take a, um, let's take 90 seconds to rest. So you finish your 30, 30, take 90 seconds. Finish your 25, 25, take 90 seconds. Take 20, 20, take 90 seconds, right? Just, it's just playing with it. I kind of want to play with the, the heavy sandbag squats. I've done plenty of 150 sandbag squats, but like, 250. So let's take a little time, regroup, and then make it more of an interval, I think. Like, we're gonna do a version of the ski bag from the games. Always fun. So great to watch those guys and girls go out there and crush those workouts um, and then get to kind of come back and, and play with the workouts. We're not gonna go exactly, because uh, Taylor's gonna be using a little heavier bag because I don't have a 125 bag, I have a 150. Um, so we're gonna do intervals instead, and we're gonna go 30-30, rest 90 seconds, 25-25, rest 90 seconds, 20-20, rest 90, or, and then done. So three three intervals, um, just to play with the bag and kind of see how it feels, and uh, maybe another time down the road we'll, we'll actually come back and actually test the workout or, or do the full workout, and I'll get a 125 pound bag. So this will be fun. This is, it's always fun after games week. You know, motivation super up, right? You got you just watch these animals crush this on like, like they were they did this workout, but it was what Saturday, Friday night, you know, so not fresh. Um, not that we're fresh, or not that I'm fresh right now, but you know, I am fresh. So, uh, anyways, just having fun. It's always fun to go back and like, you know, get after what the athletes got after. It's always a good week after this. So, yeah. The Vels plus six, I'm kind of rambling now, just stalling. Here we go. So even if you have to rest with it, standing tall, you know, do that. You fucking back squat 240, what, 16 times? You know, that's 100, 150 pounds, all right? So like, it's, it's weird, it's different. It's not a barbell, yeah. but it's still only 150 pounds. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's what I'm looking at, I'm like 200 pounds, like fuck, I could, squat 200 pounds all day long. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so never lose that perspective, right? Even though it's an odd object, it's a little different, right? Still only 200 pounds, 150. So I wouldn't go, I don't want these to be full on sprints on the, on the ski, you know, but you definitely want to go a little bit higher pace because it is an interval. And then like, if you, like, it doesn't have to be exactly 90 seconds too. If you need a round number, by all means, like if you need, if it's five more seconds to get a round number or six more seconds, do that. Okay. No reason to make hard math, you know.
My glutes are on fire. Okay, that was really good. Paces were good. Having the steps was actually, I liked it. It, uh, it helped out a lot. Um, well, it didn't help out. It made it more real. You know, the interval was good because I think we were able to maintain a little higher pace where like, now if you go back, you just back off a little bit. But the squats were very real. Um, that first set, yeah, I just went to pick the bag back up, failed to wrap, that's huge. That's just a, a mental lapse. I should have taken a couple more seconds um, or should have been more prepared for how heavy the bag was gonna feel at that moment. I could have easily left that just defeated me. I mean like, fuck, I'm not as good as I thought I should be or I'm not as strong as I should be. But it's all this is, is learning, right? Training is learning, growing as an athlete, mentally and physically. Um, it was great to watch Taylor push, you know, in those sets where she's using a little bit heavier sandbag too. You know, she was doing a 150 instead of 125, so it was cool to see her not really break. And when she did break, she picked it up pretty quick. And that's what you're looking for in an athlete, right? Someone who, uh, you know, they might not be able to go unbroken, but they fucking take a couple breaths and right back on the next movement. Because those in-between moments where your brain starts to tell you, slow down, right? When you're resting and you're like, your brain's like, don't go back to the bag. No, you're good. Take a couple more seconds, right? That's when you need someone to push. That's when you need someone to be like fighting back at their brain, fighting back, telling their brain and their body to shut the fuck up and keep moving because you're, you're not going to fail. You just have to go faster. And, uh, you know, it's easy to get defeated in those moments. It's easy to listen to the to your little head, a little guy in your head saying, yeah, slow down. Yeah, tell him to fuck off and keep moving, right? And if the body, if you break down, you break down. If you, if you uh, have to slow down, you slow down. As long as you keep moving, right? And um, keep pushing back at that brain. The more you do it, the easier it becomes. So that was great to see. It was a great push. It's a really fun workout. I love the sandbag squat because it's not a barbell and it's more like life, right? Sometimes you're gonna have to put shit on your back and carry it like a buddy or your kid or whatever or a piece of furniture, right? And it's not gonna be this perfectly symmetrical barbell with weight on it. Don't get me wrong, the barbell is great, right? It's a great way to build strength, but sometimes you have to build that, you know, real world strength. And so I love the sandbag squad. I love that they implemented it into the games too. Um, really fun to see, so. Hope you guys enjoyed that, got something out of it. Remember, push back at that little guy in your brain telling you to fucking slow down. Tell him to fuck off and keep going. And don't forget to pay the man. Yeah. I got it, I can do it.